some mistake, some apparat. Now look at me. I become dog. And this Brahmin is very lusty, very angry, very selfish, very greedy. <laughs> so imagine what destination he will get next life. So Gurudev would use this as Praman. In Ram Chandra also, in Ram Lila they follow. Of course in Krishna Lila they also have to follow. They don't have to, but yes, Krishna have to, because Nanda Baba is Vaishnava. Nanda Baba worships the shallow ground. Nanda Baba always thinks of Bhagavan Narayan, please protect my son. Therefore, this all our Vaishnavas, therefore all Brijavasi follow a courtesy. Krishna also has to follow a courtesy. What is the proof so that is mentioned in tenth canto? One day, Nanda Baba, they're in the forest. What doing in the forest? Why are they awake in the middle of the night? That was a courtesy. So in the middle of everything, one huge snake, he came, he began swallowing Nanda Baba, eating Nanda Baba. So the bridge bus is beating with sticks, stabbed him with knives, put fire on him. But he would not let go of Nanda Baba, no matter how much beating they gave him. Finally, Sri Krishna came and touched that snake with his lotus feet. And that snake became a demigod for him. He explained his last life, his name was like Sankachu, Sankachu, Samaparadhi. So Bhagavad Gurmai would give this pramant to Brijabhasi. Sometimes Brijabhasi say, we are Brijabhasi, we don't have to follow. The Guru Mahaj would tell this Kata, no, in Krishna Lila, all Brijabhasi have to also, also do it in Kamas. We heard Nanda Baba and Yasoda how they got Krishna as a son by following a courtesy brat. And Radhika, of course, she is the Parashakti. She is the source of millions of courtesies, but still Radhika also doing the courtesy. Radhika also serving Tosi. Radhika also serving Vaishnavas like Durvasa Rishi and others. So Krishna also giving. Example, Yadyad Acharati Shrestas Tatavi Vatarojama. Krishna says, What example? The Guru, the leader, gives, everyone will follow. <coughs> so, no one gave better example more than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Apane Acharya Dharma Sikhai Veyaya. Mahaprabhu said, Unless you give your practice yourself, you cannot give instruction. So from the beginning of his pastimes, Mahaprabhu showed the glories of Ekadasi, I think more than any other incarnation. Especially in Kali Yuga, we cannot do many, many vratas, many austerities, but Ekadasi everyone can do. This is easily accessible for all classes of persons. So from the beginning of his pastimes, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught everyone the glories of Ekadasi. <coughs> When, Chaitanya, when Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then all incarnations appeared in the body of the Lord. Therefore, devotees of all the other incarnations came in Gauranga's Lila. Especially there were two brothers, Hiranya and Jagadish. They were devotees of Lord Narayan. Actually, Nityananda would stay in their house often when he would move here and there. So who can imagine the two good the good fortune of these two brothers, Hiranya and Jagadish. So, even though devotees fast, on the courtesy, Bhagavan does not have to fast. Therefore, on the day of the courtesy, Hiranya and Jagadish, they would cook many, many, many special preparations for a courtesy. Srila Sridhar said, inconceivably, Krishna's desire to enjoy increases on the courtesy. So in the courtesy, devotees decrease their own enjoyment and increase their bhajan to give more happiness to Krishna because he has more need on the courtesy. So these brothers were cooking many, many preparations. At that time, Dimai was just a child, very small. So normally when Dimai would cry, for whatever reason, then all the ladies would come and they would chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hari Hari. 
Hari Bol, especially Hari Bol, Hari Bol. When the child would hear Hari Nam, then he would also dance like that, but very nice, very beautiful. And he would also smile and sing. So therefore the Lord got the name Gora Hari because he was Hari Bol, Hari Bol. He was always chanting Hari Bol, Hari Bol, so he got the name Gora. So normally when the Lord would cry, Sankirtan would pacify. But today, no matter how much the ladies chanted, Nimai would not stop his cry. The what is more painful than a mother and father than the crying of the child? <laughs> what is more painful than having to hear that as well? So finally Jagannath Mishra became very disturbed. Oh my son, whatever you want, you tell me, I will give it, get it for you. I promise, but please stop crying. Then very wonderfully the child said, I want the special offerings of Hiranya and Jagadish. Maybe Nimai was one or two years old that time, very small. Then for Jagannath Mishra, this is like impossible. <laughs> but anyway, he gave his promise, so he went to the two brothers. He did pronounce. These two brothers had great friendship with Jagannath Mishra. So they were very happy when he came. So when a guest comes to your house, then whatever they want, you should give them. Atiti Baba, they believe God comes in the form of the uninvited guest, who comes uninvitedly. What they need, you should give. Of course, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, this does not refer to professional beggars, <laughs> but real proper guests. So they ask, oh, Jackie, Oh, Jagannath Mishra, what do you want? How can we serve you? And he said, please forgive me, I have an impossible request. What? We want, just let him alone, it's all right. We want, my son wants your offerings. Then the two brothers became astonished. In their heart they could realize, the son of Jagannath Mishra must be Bhagavan Narai. They could feel something. Otherwise, how the child knows we are doing this on a codicil? So with great ecstasy, they packed these baskets full of food and gave to Jagannath Mishra, who came back, and when Nimai ate, then all Nimai's weeping was stopped. In this way, from beginning, Nimai showed the glories of a codicil. When Mother Sachi was, that time was a custom in Bengal, Okay, hey, yeah, just relax, just hear Katana. One person comes and everyone goes crazy. <laughs> so there was a custom in Bengal. People thought a woman who husband a woman whose husband has died, she must be very sinful. Because otherwise how that calamity could befall her. Therefore, it was a custom only old ladies whose husbands have died, they put on white cloth and they fast on the cups. That custom was there. So Jagannath Mishra was still alive, still present. Then one day Nimai asked, Oh Mother, promise me you will give one benediction. Then Mother Sachi said, Oh my son, I can give you life, my life millions of times. What to speak of one benediction? What benediction you would like? Then Nimai asked, Mother, promise me you will always follow a courtesy. Harimash. Then Mother Sachi promised. So this way Mother Nimai got everyone to follow a codice. And of course, after Sanyas, who can count that? Lord Chaitanya began his Sankirtan on day of a codice. So this is a codice very dear. So, especially after when he took Sanyas, but even as Grihasta, he would follow a codice. And after Sanyas, they took a very extensive form. So Lord Chaitanya spent 18 years in Puri. And of course the Prashad of Jagannath is very famous. If you get some Jagannath Prashad, you feel my life is really successful. So the glories of the Mahaprasad of Jagannath is described everywhere. Kukura Simukha Even Prashad of Jagannath a dog, it falls from the mouth of a dog, a brahman will pick it up and take. That much means Mahaprasad is never contaminated. 
Of course, all Prashad has that glorious. There's a story there was Navadvik Parikram was going on. And of course, they cook huge mountains of rice because Bengalis eat so much. <laughs> so, that time they put all the rice on banana leaves to cool, like mountain. So, in the middle of that situation, one dog came and ate some. Then they came and told Prabhupada, Prabhupada, all this, you know, one dog has eaten the rice, now how will we take, how the bodies will take prasad, what to do? Prabhupada, take me there, show me. Which rice? There. Where? Here. There. Where? There. Prabhupada reached down and ate some from them. To show Prabhupada, prasad is always pure. It's one offense to think it's stale or contaminated. But still, devotees, even though Mahaprasad may be available, Vaishnavas will not take it if it's made of grains. But devotees won't take that. One can say, why? Because Shastri get permission, Vaishnavas should always take grain. But if Shastri give another present, another, on this day, don't take, then you have to follow that also. So of course, this Jagannath Prashad, they cook millions of kilos and they sell in one marketplace. That is called Ananda Bazaar. We are so simple, we could not go. But Maharaj tells when he goes there, he always takes great happiness in describing it to us. There was, all these guys have their shops and they're all huge, fat, enormous guys. <coughs> and there is no rules, pure and pure. Muslim and Hindu all can take together off one plate, Jagannath Prashad. By Lord Chaitanya's influence, everyone was following Kodasi. The Kodasi comes twice a month. What's that, 24 days a year? So what's that? That's like 6% of the years. No. 6% drop in Prashad sales. Because everyone doing it Kodasi, you cannot sell. So on the day of Kodasi, the Brahmanas bought so many piles of Mahaprasad. There's many offerings which they don't sell publicly. No. This is very hard. They also bought these special preparations. Okay, Shamala, meditating on those proper on those preparations. So on the day of the codice they brought mountains of rice, dal, kichiri, kirsaga, sweet rice. <laughs> many, many preparations. And they gave, presented to Lord Chaitanya. We all know the glories of Mahaprasad. There's no constrict, there's no consideration of contamination or anything. So you should take. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he saw the Prashad, he became ecstatic. But he said, Yes, we know the glories of Jagannath Prashad, but scripture has said, for Vaishnavas it's forbidden to eat. Rice and chapati, if offered, even if offered to Bhagawan on the day of a course. So, what to do? So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's ecodicy was very different. In the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everyone would do a near job. And everyone would not sleep at night. All night they would stay awake and chant Harinam. No. If we read Harikwal Bhakti Vilas, so many prohibits. Prohibitions about sleeping on the day of a goddess. Eating. If you read, begin to cry. <laughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all devotees, they put all the prasad in a pile in the middle. And all night, Lord Chaitanya and the Rodi did Sankirtan around the Mahaprasad. But not ate any, just did Sankirtan around. Then morning Kaparan, they did Pranam and Lord Chaitanya distributed and all Vaishnavas took Prashad. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very strict follower of the Kodasi and his followers also. It's true, Shastra says everyone should do a Kodasi, not just Vaishnavas. There's a book, Bhama Goswami Maharaj wrote one book I read at once. It said if you're a follower of Ganesh, a follower of Shiva, a worshipper of the sun god, a follower of yoga, no, or a follower of just ordinary karma. All categories of men and women, uh, it's obligatory for everyone to do a karma. 
So don't think only Vaishnavas must do. No, everyone must. But Vaishnavas get a special result. No. So, according to Ostrada, according to faith, if you do a courtesy, result is unlimited. But even if you do a courtesy by accident or by force, you still get a result. I remember when uh, Saddam Hussein was hanged. Remember? His head popped off. Americans said it was an accident. <coughs> anyway, so he was when he was hanged, and then Gurudev was saying, Oh, he died on a codicil. And they hanged him very early in the morning, six o'clock. <laughs> no one's gonna be hanged at six o'clock and have a huge breakfast at five o'clock. Not possible. So Gurudev said somehow on the day of a codicil he was fasting. And Guru said, because he was going to die, then he must have been Allah, Kabbalah, Ya in Allah, Allah. He must have been thinking of God and reading really, because he was going to die. So Guru Maharaj said, not that he went to Vaikuntha or anything, but, <laughs> but Guru said he must get some great, good destination because he died on the, on the day of a goddess. So supremely purified. <coughs> we heard so... Anyway, Mahaprabhu gave many, many, many stories of the glories of Mahaprabhu. I'll tell you one more. Then we'll ask some Brahmacharis to speak. Is Anirudh Prabhu here? Yes, yes. Okay. Ask Anirudh if you would like to speak something after we finish. So, this one kata tells the glories of Prashad, of the glories of Ekadasi. There was one. Brahman. He was Raj Pandit. But he was the spiritual advisor to the king. He was also a very strong practitioner of yoga, especially tantric yoga. <laughs> tantric yoga he should be free from fear. So they go to the cremation ground at night and they find some dead body and they do yoga sitting on the dead body and meditate. Means how much mind has to be strong. This is also mentioned in Jaiva Dharma. Remember? Someone wanted to kill Vijay. So he went to the graveyard at night and he was chanting mantras and the ghost he could see and the flashes of lightning. But this is all there in yoga practice. So there he was chanting mantra and the dead body that he was sitting on began moving its arms and legs. But still, he said, Tishtan, sit, sit. So it means this type of mind he had, very strong, very fearless. And he was very learned. So. And he also used to follow a goddess, even though he was not Vaishnav. But still, he would follow a goddess. So one night, he was staying. The people of that area asked, O oh, Prabhu, this is one haunted house. So please you stay here and remove the ghost. Because only someone who's afraid, not afraid of ghosts can throw ghosts out. So in that haunted house, he was staying the night. Then that ghost attacked him at night time. But because he was a very powerful yogi, the ghost could not do anything. So that yogi said, <clears throat> when the ghost realized this is superior personality, I cannot do anything, the ghost realized if I take shelter of him, he can help me. So Guru Dev would say, ghosts can see many, many things we cannot see. So the yogi said, please help me, I am suffering a lot. Then that yogi said, I donate you the result of one cause. Then ghosts became liberated from birth and death by that, just by one cause. Then ghosts felt too much happy, too much relief. Ghost said to this yogi and Raj Pandit, I know you are looking for your spiritual master, but you cannot find him. So I am telling you, if you go to Mayapur, Nadia district, there is one Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur. Anubam, stay awake. He will be your spiritual master. He will give you Harinam, Diksha, he will also give you Sanyas. 
and your sannyas name will be Bhakti Gora by Kanas Maharaj. So this Raj Pandit became very happy. He went to Nadia because he was looking for Guru, he could not find. So he came to Namadweep. Namadweep means nine islands. So these nine islands are mostly divided by the Jalangi, by the Saraswati, different rivers, different branches of the Ganga. So he had to cross from one side of the J Saraswati to the other side. That means he went from Modrum, Godrum Dweep to Anta Dweep, this little river which goes there. So, by good fortune, that was Namadweep down Padakram. So somehow, good fortune, he was on the same boat as Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur. But he didn't know this was Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He only saw one sannyasi. So this Raj Pandit, he had many good qualities, but one fault, he was addicted to eating palm. <laughs> so he was chewing palm and mouth fills with juice. So Bengalis, not Bengalis, everyone, they spit it out, otherwise it, it, you're not meant to drink it. So where to spit? So he spat into the, the Saraswati. Then Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur was there. So he said to him, For us, this Saraswati river is most worshipful. By her mercy one gets devotion of knowledge of the Supreme Lord. And you're so foolish as to spit in her? He didn't know this was Saraswati Thakur, but this devotee's words had so much power, so much influence on him, that he felt completely wretched. Oh my God, I'm so learned and so famous, but I cannot give up this addiction of chewing pine. Really, I'm quite useless for him. So as he was feeling this big shep, this like lamentation, he thought, who is this person who can make me feel like this? Then he asked someone, who is that sannyasi though? That is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. <laughs> then he remembered, oh, that's what the ghost said. So Bhakti Gora by Kanazmaj would tell this story. How a courtesy fulfill all desire? How a courtesy do everything? So I finished one kata, Golgamaj would tell this kata. But because <clears throat> with most, it's very hard for ordinary person to run a temple. You know? <laughs> Money, more important, where to find proper servants, a very difficult job. <coughs> so, Bhaktivinoda Thakur made the system of Nam Hat. Everyone should make their house into a temple. How? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Taraman is Southern Church, Navavidabhat. Of all the nine limbs of devotion, this Hare Nam Sankirtan is best. So one who chants Hare Nam, they get the result of the Navavidabhati, nine limbs. So Bhakti Nautako had made his song books, he printed them. He would purchase mandangas, he would purchase cartels, he would give these song books, and he would go to the different villages of Jagannath Puri. He had a horse, and he would go here and there, he would donate books, mandangas, cartels. He would collect the leaders of the village, give some instructions on Harinam and Sudabhakti. And then this village would become a temple. He introduced that system of Namahat. Well, ultimately, Nityananda Guru introduced it. Nadiya go through me Nityananda Mahajan Patiyanshi Namahata Jivarakaram Nityananda, this was originally done by Nityananda. Every house and village should have Harinam. So Bhakti Nau Thakur would do like this. Saraswati Thakur would sometimes follow him, even though he was quite young. So one night, Bhakti Nau Thakur, we know he was district magistrate. So he was controlling Puri. So one night as he was riding home from a program, he heard one woman weeping. Why a woman is crying in the middle of the night cannot be anything good. So Bhakti Nautako moved his horse in the direction of the weeping sound. But when he got there, he saw nothing was there. 
Then the weeping began in another area. So he took his horse there, nothing. Then the weeping started from another place. Then he realized this is some mystic thing, something not normal. So he requested, whoever you are, please you come here. I will remove your misery. So one woman came supremely attractive. And Bhakti Nautaka asked, oh my dear lady, please tell me what is giving you so much unhappiness, why you are weeping. That woman said, my name is Maya Devi. This was Mahamaya. Mahamaya. And why I'm weeping? Because of you. <laughs> Bhakti Nautaka, what is my offense? The lady said, because of your preaching now, all villages, everyone is following Harinam, everyone is giving up fish, onion and garlic. More importantly, everyone is following a courtesy. So in this Ketra Mandal, there's no place for me anymore. I have no business here, no one to torture, no one to capture. Because everyone is following Hari Bhakti. No. Then Bhakti no Taku bowed to her, Oh Mother, bless me like this. Then she disappeared. This Harina, this especially courtesy is very powerful. In the time of Guru Dev, you know, then on the day of a courtesy, hundreds and hundreds of old ladies especially would come for a courtesy kirtan. And Guru would personally, he would arrange this Anukalpa. On, on the courtesy we don't take prasad, prasad generally means rice and grain, we take Anukalpa. So Guru would arrange everyone, pakoras, <laughs> katuata, potatoes, peanuts, what do we have? Guru would distribute to and hundreds of people would come for prasad. So, time finished. Then Guru the Guru Dev one time said, You see all these old ladies here? They're not ordinary ladies, they are living in the dharma and they're doing a courtesy. So they are so pure, their bhajan is so pure, they are purifying the earth planet from the seeds of Kali Yuga. And he said, because of these ladies, the earth is still maintained, the earth has not been destroyed because of the, these old ladies doing the Kadasi. So Kadasi is very powerful, we cannot do too much, but at least in Kadasi we should do nicely. I saw today some devotees taking juice and everything, doing parikram. Ram Krishna. <laughs> okay, we cannot do near jal. But at least till 12 o'clock. <laughs> we will control the time till 12 o'clock. Just give pranam to the direction of near jal. It's till 12 o'clock we can do some fast, something we can do. It's not too hard, everyone can do that. So what can we say?